How are we doing everybody? Welcome to Russell Heritage Golf. Today we're talking about two moves which are going to completely change your golf swing. One of the things that I've been talking about on the YouTube channel pretty much since it became um, into its existence is very much how important the lower body movement is coming in towards, well obviously backswing, but in transition and coming through in towards the hit. One of the problems basically that most amateur golfers struggle with is they don't keep the pelvis downward facing enough in the transition which therefore induces things like an early hip extension or it gives you the sort of visual of looking this way when basically impact doesn't look as desirable. What we're going to be doing moving forward is just keep breaking the golf swing down and offering you drills and exercises that you should do on a daily basis and the reason why this is important is because golf is it's not about one shot it's about a probability so what you're trying to do is you're trying to increase the consistency out of say 10 shots you hit not just one because everybody can kind of hit one where even if the kind of you're sliding and then you're early releasing you know as you can hear on that shot you're always going to be able to time one or two shots out of 10. the problem is is that you're never going to get the consistency across more shots than that so it's always going to let you down at some stage when you're playing 18 holes of golf What's also happening though is that even though you're, you might be aware that you're sliding and you don't want it anymore, it just doesn't work that way either. You can't just become aware of a fault that you've got and then just expect it to completely you know, disappear. It just doesn't work that way, hence the practice. So coming into the winter you know, is going to give you a great platform to just break it down and hence the two moves that are going to change your swing completely are very much going to be the transition and then therefore the elbow. Now, what will happen is when you swing up towards the top and if you mimic this possibly without a golf club to start off with if you kind of get yourself set up take your posture and then swing back and then make sure that you're just trying to basically get both of your hips behind your ankle line in the transition or keep the pelvis completely downward facing or <clears throat> whatever the feeling might be you might feel like you're getting the weight more into your heels just to emphasize this sort of transitional of staying over the ball more now what you'll find is that you're able to demonstrate this movement with ease. It's not a difficult or challenging movement to possess. What will happen, however, is that if you were to mimic this movement here, you, you would be kind of questioning how on earth are, are you actually going to hit the ball. So it will take time. So the way that it works is that when people come for lessons, I would suggest if they've got a fault, obviously how to fix it and what to do, which is most common with most amateurs. But let's say it was just somebody who was swinging pretty well but they've just got into a bad habit of hitting it this way i wouldn't try and make too much of a drastic change within the lesson because it'll be too much of a shock to the system but what i would suggest is that if you do drills 10 minutes per day on different parts of the golf swing then inevitably you're going to start to improve dramatically over time so your first thing is to keep the pelvis downward facing would completely change your transition for most golfers if you're doing this with a golf club in hand and you swing up towards the top what you'll start to feel is that the club is going to be swinging massively over the top. Now, two things are going to happen in your golf swing. One, based on you know making the assumption we're in a good position at the top of the backswing, the lower body will swing at a faster rate of rotation, which means that you won't look this way. You won't come massively over the top in the transition. You'll start to create an element of separation, which means the upper body will slowly follow behind. But what will also need to happen is that you'll need to drive the elbow. It's kind of like imagine if you were skimming a stone. You would drive the elbow to the side of your body as you were to stay in posture very much in this sort of sequence. So if you've got in a habit of swinging this way, well then I suppose what I'm transparently trying to say is that yeah, the winter's a good amount of time to kind of break it down and to reprogram your brain how to hit the golf ball in a more efficient manner. The two moves that are going to completely change your golf swing is going to be the ability to keep the pelvis downward facing and therefore what that'll do is that would force you to keep the elbow much closer towards the side of your body in the transition because otherwise you're going to swing over the top and what you'll find is that if you're somebody who moves laterally and then you went into posture you can see the way that how the arms would end up looking so to make a change especially a drastic change is desirable because the majority of people that are watching content on things like YouTube are generally trying to get better and they're generally trying to get a better level of understanding about the golf swing. What I'm trying to say is that to make the change is completely achievable because I've seen it with hundreds and hundreds and more and thousands of people but the reality is is that it's going to take you work and the winter is a great platform to start working on it. 
and I would just start breaking it down and following the channel because we're going to be talking about drills and exercises. But just don't underestimate the importance of doing these drills and just taking the time on keeping the pelvis downward facing. And then from there, like I said, in time, you're going to learn how to drive the elbow because otherwise you're never going to be able to swing the club on plane. Those are the two moves. Those are the big things. Definitely keep watching the channel as well because you're going to be talking about this sort of checkpoints of from things from your posture all the way through to the backswing. So at least you know whether you're doing things correctly or make amendments if necessary. But if we can do this 10 minutes a day program going through the winter, then going in towards next year, you'll have a lot more consistency with your game. You know what to do, press that subscribe button. If you don't wanna miss another video, might as well press the little bell icon because that means you receive notifications every time a new video comes out. Two moves to completely change your swing. They'll feel radically different, but it's very much pelvis down, elbow to the side of the body, as opposed to, well, potentially what it is that you're doing. See you soon.